welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a first impressions video on the brand Models Own. Now this is a new brand that is available at Ulta. I think they were on sale starting a month ago or something like that, but it wasn't something I was very familiar with and then I saw Casey Holmes do a first impressions featuring some of their products. And I remember she really liked their foundation, so that really piqued my curiosity in the brand. And I decided to order a few things off of Ulta's website. So if you're interested in finding out my thoughts on this new brand at Ulta, just keep watching. So like I said, Models Own is a British brand and it has been available in the UK for a while, but just started being sold at Ulta stores. So it's more easily available for us now in the US. And they basically stand for were bold, brave, and British. So I think that's really cool. Overall, I couldn't find too much about the brand, but they are kind of placed in the mid-range. So they're not like super, super affordable, like wet and wild prices, but they're not as expensive as brands that are usually sold at like Sephora. They're definitely in the mid-range. Most of the products are in that um, 10 to $20 category. So still pretty affordable, but not too high end and not too low end as well. So I did film a full demo of the Models Own products that I am wearing on my face right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a demo in right here. And then after the demo, I'm gonna come back and share my thoughts with you on each of the products and end the video. So let's go ahead and see how these products performed on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna create a look using this palette. This is a Rockstar eyeshadow palette. And this is what the packaging looks like. It says it contains seven grams of product and it says Rockstar eyeshadow palette access all areas with this Rockstar eyeshadow palette from late nights to late mornings. Just roll with the band. With, this, with the brush, apply matte cobalt blues, shimmer plum hues, and the blackest of blacks rocking appeal so it looks like there are 10 shades and it also comes with a brush and uh, yeah let me just get this open because clearly I didn't want to look at this before I started this first impressions I like for my first impressions to be you know very real as far as like not trying out the product beforehand of course if I had tried out the product I would definitely let you guys know but this is what the packaging looks like I did un open this one up on snapchat the sculpt and glow palette um, but they're very similar packaging it's like plastic pearl uh, with holo writing so that's kind of nice because if you wanted to like collect these you know they would look really cute like all stacked up together um, but this is what the palette looks like and there is a mirror um, Kind of reminds me of like the Too Faced white chocolate chip palette like the packaging on the inside And these are all very smoky shades now I tried to pick something that was a little out of my comfort zone because you know I have a lot of like warm tone eyeshadow palettes So I wanted to try something a little bit different so that you know I could push myself to try out some smokier shades so I've zoomed you guys in I'm going to prime my lids with this Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. I've had this for a while and I really just need to use it up so I figured since these are closer to like drugstore priced products I would use a drugstore priced eyeshadow primer. Usually I don't really wear eyeshadow primer. I usually just put on some concealer and set that and use that as my primer but I figured today I would just do the steps, the steps. <laughs> so let's use the brush from the palette. I'm gonna tap on this, you know, beigey neutral shade called Epic um, all over my lid just to set my shadow. I'm gonna use a fluffy side, I think. So it's kind of a small brush, but that's okay. So I think I'm going to go in with this buzzing shade. It's more like a shimmery shade, but not very shimmery. And this is the E22 brush from Morphe. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of fallout with these, so that's kind of nice.
Okay, so let's play with the next shade. I'm gonna put some electric on my lid. I'm gonna use a flat brush for that. I'm just gonna grab one of these Morphe M224 brushes. You can find that under the Morphe like concealer section on their website, but I like to use a dry shadow. It's a nice fat, a flat brush. It's going on pretty pigmented. We have beautiful bronzy gold shade. Even with a smoky palette, I somehow find a shade of gold to put on my lids, right? I'm going to tap some on with my finger. So I just want it to stand out a little more. It feels really soft, a little bit dimethicone, so it's going on very foiled, if you can see. Tap on some of the shade Wild Out with my finger at, on the outer corner of my lid. And then just to jazz it up, I'm going to grab the, there's a purple shade called Punk right here. Just kind of want to put that on the middle for a pop of color. It's like weird Mardi Gras look. I don't know. I don't actually know what I did guys. You give me like a different like eyeshadow palette and like my head can't like compute all these crazy shades. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what the eyeshadows performed like on my lids. And now I'm going to hop into a demo of the foundations. So this is the packaging for the foundations. Super cute. I got two shades because I wasn't quite sure which one I was going to be. This one looks a little dark. So I think I'm going to go with Honey Tan, which is this one. And on here it says, it's a matte foundation, smooth finish that saves the face. There's one fluid ounce in here. I like the squeezy tube. It says, get to totally even with this weightless matte liquid foundation that will take you seamlessly from AM to PM. Apply with a brush, sponge, or fingertips and build coverage gradually for the girl who likes to work hard and play hard. So really cute. Oh, and this is made in Taiwan, if anyone cares. Okay, shake it up a little bit. I saw Casey Holmes, um, oh, and it's sealed. I saw Casey Holmes do first impressions on this brand, and she really liked the foundation. So then it kind of inspired me to pick up some of their stuff, because I love full coverage foundations. And so I was like really curious to try it. And I think this foundation was only like $9. So I'm just going to go at it with a blender sponge. This is from L'Oreal. It's probably one of my favorite sponges actually. Because it's like $7. And it works so well. I also want to let you guys know. You do need to wet these. I mean I know some people like to use them dry. But if you use them wet they really help blend the product. This is a good color match. Again, I got the shade Honey Tan. And I mean, it's really building up well. And I didn't even have to use a lot. I only squeezed out a little bit. And it says it's buildable. I mean, this is really good coverage. I feel like this has that same consistency as like my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Wow. I mean, in the viewfinder, it looks really good on my mirror that tells me no lies. I feel like it covers really good, I mean, for it being like a drugstore foundation, I'm like beyond impressed. And it doesn't feel cakey or heavy, which is really nice as well. I'm gonna put on some concealer. I've been loving 
the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, the one that comes in the glass bottle. I know this is a really old concealer, like, it's not like the Tarte Shape Tape or anything. I just got it not very long ago, so I think, you know, I'm still, like, in my honeymoon phase with this concealer, even though people have been using it for years, and personally, I just love, love this concealer. It covers things up so well, and, um... I like the container, I like the packaging, because it comes in a pump, which I think is great. I know a lot of people break them because it's a glass bottle, but mine has survived. So if you're looking for an awesome full coverage concealer, I know I'm talking about models own in this video, but I really like that concealer. So I just want to let you guys know, I didn't pick up a models own concealer, I just I picked up a few things. I only picked up four items from them. Um, but I just wanted to tell you, in case you're looking for a full coverage concealer, because I'm a full coverage kind of gal, um, that you should check that out. Okay, so to set my concealer, I'm going to use another new product. This is a new product to me. This is the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Powder. I've been using this for a couple weeks now, and I honestly love it. It has some color to it. I think I got the shade medium. So I really like this. It's kind of like a nice, um, kind of like giving my RCMA powder a break. And I really like this one because it has a hint of color. So I feel like it doesn't isn't going to give me a white cast. And it comes with a nice sifter. And it sets my makeup really well. So... I've been loving this. I got the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I've been dying to try it because people keep talking about this. And I I feel like I've tried this once before and I didn't really, wasn't very impressed with it. So I thought I'd try it again because I've heard so many rare reviews and I'm like, you know, I might have not known what I was doing at the time. So let me try this out quick. Like, I don't get it. It's not that dark. Like, pigmentation on this is... I don't know if I keep buying the wrong one. This is the one in Trooper. Waterproof Liquid Liner by Kat Von D. Everyone talks about what a good liquid liner this is, but... I swear it's, like, not even opaque on my lid. Do you guys see that? Can somebody tell me if I'm doing something wrong here? Like, you can't even see the liner. What the fuck? I swear I keep buying the wrong one. I, I don't know, because this cannot be the one that everyone is hyped about, because you can't even see that I have something on my lids. Like, that's a problem. Okay, now we're going to try the Sculpting Glow uh, from Model's Own, and this is what it looks like. Lots of product. How much is in here? 14.9 grams. That's a lot. Um, is that how much is in the new Becca palette? I think so. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's about how much is in there. I think I'll use this. This is the Morphe M403, and it's called Sculpt. This shade, it might be a little too light for me, but, you know, we'll make it work. This is very dusty. I think you can see that on my face, right? I'm just gonna bronze up around my face as well. I really like the foundation, you guys. Eyeshadow palette is okay, but the foundation is bomb. Okay, blush is called Afterglow. Reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much NARS Orgasm in a drugstore version. And also reminds me of like that Flower Beauty blush. Is it called? I can't remember. 
Yeah, this is a little too light to be a blush for me, so it looks like I'm almost like highlighting and blush at the same time. There's a really nice sparkle on this. Wow. I don't know if my camera is going to pick that up, but do you guys see it? I don't think it's an overspray either. I think it's really what it looks like. Okay, and then for highlighter, I'm just going to grab a Real Techniques brush, and it's called Light Up. I'm just going to go on my high points. Oh, I forgot to do my brows. I got to do my brows. I can do those off camera though. OMG. Do you guys see that? Holy crap. I let on flake. Okay, I'm gonna try and not put too much on because that's like in the viewfinder it's scary. Like I put a lot on. So I'm just gonna stop right there. Okay, and then just some lipstick to finish off the look. This is a new shade that I picked up called Sanctuary by Kat Von D. Because you guys know I've been dying to try out all her new nudes. So this one's like a purpley nude, like a mauve. I don't know if this is going to look good on me. Okay guys, this is the completed look. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now let's hop back into the review. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the foundation. Now this is the one I was really excited about because I had a feeling I was gonna like this. Like I said, I watched Casey Holmes' video and it looked really good on her. So I was really intrigued. And this is the Matte Runway Foundation. It's actually on sale right now at Ulta for $8.99 but usually it retails for about $11.99. So this formula is very comparable to some of the L'Oreal foundations. Those usually range at about $10 to $12 as well. So um, I really like the packaging. It's very simple and I love the box as well. There is quite a bit of information on these. It says it's one fluid ounce and it says that this is a totally even Weightless Matte Liquid Foundation, which will take you seamlessly from AM to PM. Now, just from wearing it for an hour or so, and since I put it on in the demo, I feel like I really like this foundation. It's very nice coverage. Um, I felt like it was full coverage on my skin, but I don't have very po problematic skin, and I don't have a lot of things to cover up. So for me, anything medium actually works like a full coverage foundation, but I can definitely see that's being a full coverage or a medium coverage foundation, and it's buildable. So if you wanna put on a few layers, I think you'd be okay. The consistency reminds me a lot of like Estee Lauder Double Wear. It has that creamy consistency and it blended out really well, so you don't need a whole lot of this product. So this one ounce for $11.99 will last you quite a while. Now again, it claims to be matte and it's oil free and I definitely do feel like that. I have a lot of highlighter on right now. So if you think I'm looking really glowy, it's not the foundation, it is the highlighter I'm pretty sure. Also this product says it's designed in the UK but it's made in Taiwan and has an 18 month lifespan and I will definitely be keeping this product because I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I'll definitely try it out some more. If I change my mind about it, I will update you guys in a favorites video. Okay, so the next product I decided to try from the brand is the Sculpt and Glow Palette. Now this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's really, really cute packaging. On here it says, get your game face on with this all-in-one contour palette that suits all skin tones. That's not true with a blusher, highlighter, and bronzer that can be blended for sculpting perfection. This is all you need to face the world. So really cute packaging. I like how simple it is, but you know, very, I don't know, it's just artsy looking. Also on here it says it's 14.9 grams, which is a good amount of product, and that it is made in China and has a 12 month lifespan. So really, really was impressed by this palette, as you could tell maybe in the demo, um, sorry, so I was really impressed with this palette, as you can maybe tell in the demo. I like the packaging of it. It comes with a pretty nice mirror and then some huge pans, which is really great because you can really get those bigger brushes in there, which is a complaint we've seen with a lot of palettes recently, especially that Becca Chrissy Teigen palette that comes with a blush and a bronzer that are really tiny. Like, I don't know what blush or bronzer brush 
would actually fit in those pans. But anyway, overall, I really like this blush shade, Afterglow. It does remind me a little bit of Becca, but also reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm. It has that peachy golden shade in it, which is really beautiful. Um, the highlighter was okay. It wasn't anything like mind-blowing, and the scalp shade was pretty good too. I prefer if it was a little bit darker. Like I've said previously, I'm not really into like contouring as much. I just like to wear like bronzers. So it was okay, and this is in the shade medium to tan. They also have a light to medium um, like range um, for lighter skin. So if you're darker than me, I don't know that this sculpt shade is going to work for you, but I think the blush and the highlighter shade should still work on darker skin than mine. But I do think this is worth the money. This retails for $16.99 and right now it was on sale for $12.74 at Ulta.com. I believe they these go on sale a lot because when I was shopping, they were doing like buy one, get one 40% off, which I which is why I got um, four things from Ulta on this range of makeup. Really quick, I want to swatch the Sculpt and Glow palette for you guys. Um, let's just show you what these shades look like. So there they are on my hand. And there they are swatched as well. As you can see, the highlight and the blush shade are really quite stunning um, and I think would be very suitable on most skin tones. And then the last item I want to talk to you guys about is the Rockstar Eyeshadow Palette. This generally retails for $17.99 and is on sale at Ulta right now for $13.49. Now these prices may change because their sales do change, but you know, Ulta does sales a lot, so if you're, you know, wanting to try some of these products, just make sure you're grabbing them on sale because there's no reason to pay full price on these. Now, this palette seems to be an exclusive to the Ulta website, and yeah, I don't know. I picked it out because I, like I said in the demo, I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. Usually, I like to, you know, check out all these, like, really blah shadow palettes or, like, the really warm tones, so I thought I'd break out of my comfort zone and try something like this, but this is a little too smoky for me. I didn't really love the shade and it was really hard for me to put an eye look together because there's only like two, three matte shades, four matte shades in here and the rest are shimmers. And a lot of these colors you can't really use for like transitions or anything like that. So you would probably have to use this with another palette. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So let's do that first and we'll just swatch them on the top of my hand, but here's what they look like. I think the pigmentation of these did look better on my actual eyes, but I didn't really like this palette. I don't know if I tried like a more neutral palette from them. I might actually like it more than I like this palette. I think it was just the shades that were really throwing me off with this because I really couldn't get like an eye look together with them. Um, but yeah, if you're curious, so this first shade is Epic. Then I have Party Hard, Punk, 247, or 24-7, sorry, and then Wild Out are the top row right here um, in the palette. Yeah, they're, they actually go on the eyes better than they do swatch, but I have All Night Buzzing, Hyper, Electric, and Awesome. I used Electric um, a lot through this eye look. It's like the bronzy shade, but they're not showing up very well. I don't know. This eyeshadow palette was just okay for me. I don't think I'll be keeping it. Like I said, like I tell you guys all the time, I don't keep eyeshadow palettes that I'm not going to use because I have too many eyeshadow palettes. So anything that I won't use, I get rid of. So this will definitely be going back. This palette, again, retails for $17.99 and I wouldn't buy this again. Um, maybe try out different shades or if you're really into these shades, definitely you might love this palette. For me, it wasn't my favorite. It contains 7 grams of product, so a lot less than the Sculpt and Glow palette. So I don't know what the reasoning is for that. And it has a 12-month lifespan and is made in China. Hey guys, that is it for my first impressions video on the brand Models Own. Like I said, they are new to Ulta, and so I was really curious to try them out. They also have tons of other products. I only picked up a few products because... Honestly, these don't get sent to me. I have to use my own money and so I can't afford to buy like 20 products from the line. But I think I managed to buy enough stuff where I got a chance to kind of dip my toes into what this brand was about. 
So hopefully you guys found the information useful and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!